Hello everyone, just some Riyadi here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the Nintendo Switch games I have so far. Of course, when I say so far, that means that there's more games to come. So, we'll go from top to bottom, and I'll just show you the outside, and I'll open it up and show you what the inside looks like. Okay. Alright, so first up, we have... Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I just completed the main game, which is Super Mario 3D World. And I just beat Championship Road after days of dying from it. There's the inside. Yeah, I just... I beat it, and I got the stamp that you get when you complete it. And I got the stamp of Mario, because that's when you play the game, and you get a stamp of a character that you played throughout the entire game. So if I played the entire game as just Mario, then you get a Mario stamp. Or Luigi, you get a Luigi stamp. Peach, a Peach stamp. Blue Toad, a Toad stamp. And the same goes for Rosalina. Right. Next game. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I 100% Galaxy and 64, and right now I'm working on Sunshine. But I'm kind of having some trouble. There's the inside. Yeah, 64 on the top, Sunshine in the middle, and Galaxy on the bottom. I don't think I showed this by now. And speaking of these two games, they're going to go off sale at the end of next month, which is March 31st. Alright, next up, Spongebob Battle for the Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I beat this game, but there's some stuff that still needs some work. And also, in Canada... Has a different language. I don't know what language that is. The inside is nothing. It's just uh, support technique. And yeah, product warranty and technical support. Next up, Paper Mario and the Origami King. This game, I did not 100% because of the complicated things to do. And I'm not very good at Paper Mario games. That's still a cool game. Just Dance. I don't really play this game since most of the songs are underrated and kooky. The cute, it has kooky songs. Now this one actually has the game card. Super Mario Maker 2. I participated in the speed run for the 35th anniversary Mario coin, but of course, I did not win because there are professional speed runners out there. And I'm pretty sure everyone wanted to win, but you couldn't. Super Mario Party. This game is the most confusing game there is. Like, I don't know how to play parties. I don't know how to play other games on this. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's a fun game to play. But what I would want in a Mario Kart game is there to be like a story mode. Instead of a Grand Prix mode. Anyway, for this one, I completed 50 to 150 cc, and I still got to work on 150 cc and 200 cc. And what I know is that 200 cc is the hardest mode out of it. Mario Tennis Ace, Aces. I've completed this game. I'm just stuck on one level where you have to fight all bosses at once. Oh, game, game stop receipt. 
get that out of here. New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. I've gotten to those levels that supposedly are hard. And I was able to get through all of them. But I, however, I did not play New Super Luigi U yet. Yoshi's Crafted World. I barely touched this game. Because it seems complicated. Luigi's Mansion 3. I've completed this game. But the thing about this game that kind of disappoints me is that when you finish the game, you finish the game. Like, you don't go back to explore when you finish the game. I, th I thought that once you completed the game, you would go back and explore. The mansion, just like you could do in Dark Moon in the first game. Like in the first game, you could go to the Hidden Mansion or back to the regular mansion once the game was complete. Or in Dark Moon, once the game was complete, you could play any level you want to try to get three stars. But in this one, the game ends and there's no going back and exploring anything else. You can't play any levels that you played in Luigi's Mansion 3, and I can't get a rank A mansion in this game. Hopefully, hopefully Luigi's Mansion 4 is better. Alright, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I completed story mode on this. The inside, and I think I forgot to show you the inside of Luigi's Mansion. So here it is. Right. One, two, switch. I play this game when I go to parties. Like I'm in a theater class, and since we do shows, we have after parties, and I just bring my switch so we all can have fun. And to me, I think the jalapeno show you the level of difficulty these are. Like, one jalapeno is, like, for beginners, two can be for easy, three is medium, four is hard, and five is intermediate. But hey, this is good for parties. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I did play the thing for the Mario 35th anniversary again, but I got it. But I kind of got the lowest rank possible because for this event, the Mario 35th anniversary event for Super Smash Brothers, it's not like Splatoon or Mario Maker 2 where you, you can play it for uh, from this day to this day, but for this one you you can only play the event for two hours. That's not how you do competitions for a coin. I signed up for both. I didn't win any coins because I know there's people out there who scored better than me. Super Mario Odyssey. I um, was able to get the hat on top of the castle. And how you got that is if you got 999 moons and the inside it shows you the lyrics to we uh, jump up superstar okay. sorry guys uh, I keep forgetting if I showed you the inside All right. Splatoon 2 now for this one For the Mario 35th anniversary event, yeah, you thought that last event Splatoon had would be the final event, but they actually brought one more event, which was the Mario 35th anniversary event. So I joined Team Superstar. That is that was the highest the highest choice for people to pick. 
But Super Mushroom went won in the end. And I didn't win. Because even though I was close, but to getting a high score. But I you see Splatoon it's one of those games where if you do co op mode, your team you're on the team that keeps losing and you only win once every once in a while. But I did hear that they're coming out with Splatoon 3. And most people were disappointed. Another game stop receipt. I did download the DLC Octo Expansion and I'm stuck on the final level, which is Inner Agent 3, which is the ragest, hardest boss of that game. Alright, Lion Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Although I don't have the DLC for the Donkey Kong thing. And the code here, I already used it, so... Minecraft. Of course, the game. Everyone can play. Minecraft. Where you can build imagination. Namco Museum Arcade Pack. Got this at a GameStop and it wasn't wrapped. They just gave it to me off the shelf and they put the game in there. And it said it was brand new. Does that remind you of any of a YouTube video you've seen? Maybe not. Another GameStop receipt. Here's the games you get. You get Pac-Man, Pac-Man Versus, you get Sky Kid, Dig Do, Rolling Thunder, Shrink Force, Splatterhouse, and Galaga. There's only three games on here I play. Here's a better look at the games right here. And lastly, Bendy and the Ink Machine. Um, this is the first horror game for me to own. So I'm waiting for, still waiting for Benny and the Dark Revival. Oh, and here's the game card. In fact, I got Benny and the Ink Machine when only GameStop was selling it. And now everywhere is selling it. So you can buy this at Walmart, Target, Amazon. You can still buy it at GameStop. The creator said that he would bring the second Bendy game to console. Alright, so that's all the games. And I brought in my cases that have game cards in it, so I'll show you the game cards. I can open it. Okay, there we go. And one fact that you probably already know about the game cards is that you know how there's always that choking hazard that if children under three could choke on this thing? Well, Nintendo actually were was prepared because here I'll take a Mario Odyssey for example. If you lick the top, the ta you're gonna have a nasty taste. Yeah, it tastes so bad that you're have gonna have to drink water. And Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is in my Switch right now, but I'm not going to go get it because I want to wrap this up.
And also, I heard in the SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, there's a another robot boss that can only be played in two players. And there you guys have it. All the Switch games. There they are right there. And when I end the video, I'm going to sort them out. Excuse me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Goodbye.